the fall feasts are upon us and we will hear lots of shofars blowing, blasting through the air very soon for the Feast of Trumpet, Yom Teruah or Rosh Hashanah. I have said that the most difficult texts to teach are those that are so familiar and popular and this here is one of them. What are we told about the Feast of Trumpet, Yom Teruah or Rosh Hashanah? We read in Leviticus 23, and Yah spoke to Moshe saying, Speak to the children of Israel saying, In the seventh month, on the first of the month, it shall be a Shabbat for you, a remembrance of blowing of trumpets, a holy occasion. Do you see a problem with this instruction? It's right there. Look carefully. Do you keep this feast because it's a ritual or you understand it? If you don't see the difficulty that I'm referring to in the text, how then can you benefit from its depth? Solomon tells us, a word well spoken is like apples of gold in silver plated dishes. From afar, it's the silver plate that draws your attention. Until you get closer, do you see the apples of gold? Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first of the month, it shall be a Shabbat for you, a remembrance of blowing of trumpets, a holy occasion. What are the golden apples that we are missing here? When you find the difficulty in the instruction and you resolve it, then you will see the depth in this appointed time. Give it a shot. If not, join us this Shabbat as we delve into the difficulties with the instructions. Resolve it and then see the depth of Yom Teruah. Shalom.